Hi everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I'm here today with a Killa Kit video for my um, 2017 stash kit number two. Um, it was actually the second stash kit that I put together, however, it was the first stash kit that I actually worked with. So I'm a little backwards there, but it was the kit that would just happen to be speaking to me at the time. So that's the one I started with first. So I am going to show you what I have left in the kit. I have a lot left, but I was finding that I just don't have enough die cuts or little pieces left to be able to um, easily put pages together. And it was it was starting to become like I was making things work. I'm very pleased with my last layout, but when I was starting to kind of pull photos to make my 13th layout, I made 12 layouts with it. But when I was pulling photos to make my 13th layout, I was realizing, okay, I don't really have a whole lot to work with. I have a lot of stuff, but as you're going to see, it's not a lot of like embellishment, um, die cut pieces and stuff like that. So I decided to go ahead and stop working with this kit, disassemble it, put it back in my stash and go ahead and pull out my other stash kit. So after this video goes up, the next stash kit that, um, videos that you'll see will actually be 2017 stash kit number one. Um, so yeah. All right. So let me show you what I have left in my kit and then I'll show you the layouts that I made. And this is a lot. I am well aware that this is a lot. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna really go through like everything, but I'm gonna lay it all out here. Um, I have a lot left. I did use up three spools of ribbon and then my sta my um, smash clips here. So those are used up, but this all came from the stash kit. And I used a lot of things, like I had a lot of different um, clips and flare in here. All those are, are used up, but these are really the packages that I'm throwing away. The three spools of ribbon and then one, one package of smash clips. I've got all my sticker sheets left. I didn't use a whole lot, but again, it wasn't necessarily about using up things. It was more so about using my stash to create projects. I have a lot of Project Life cards. In hindsight, I pulled way, way, way too much in regards to the Project Life cards. I mean, I used probably 20 Project Life cards, but look, that's how many I pulled. So that's just a lot. I have, these are the only real die cuts. I suppose that I have left and they're really just labels so I like them but it's not enough to really create a page with a lot of stickers left I use these almost in completely I only have one full border strip left but I have one two three half strips left some enamel dots stickers of course I have all my alphas left I pulled way too many of these as well but hey, I have a plenty. This one is actually almost completely used up. So this is all I have left. So I'm actually going to keep this one on my desk with my almost used up products because I can still make a lot with it. I have a couple numbers and then a couple letters. I even have an A left, but not a whole lot else. So I'm going to stick those with my almost used up products right here on my desk. I just like to kind of keep those almost used up things right here at hand because you never know when you might be able to use it. Like these don't have any more vowels left, but I could use like street or road, like different abbreviations. So those are also going to stay on my desk. A lot of things left, but again, this was not really about using things up. It was really just about utilizing my stash. I used a lot of this one, but I keep all my LA Studio products together sticker book. You can barely tell. But obviously I made a lot. I made 12 layouts. That's a lot. All my stamp sets. I like having stamp sets in my stash kits. Cardstock die cut shapes. These were, this was really the wrong blue I was finding. So this is the ribbon that I have left. This is the one I did not use. I don't think I used it at all, actually. Of course, I have my stickles and my Nouveau drops. Use these a lot. These are all my little scrap pieces. They're going to go in my little box right here on my desk of scraps. Because I will use those. Labels. Stickers. I love this one, by the way. Um... It's a ticket book. That's fun. Card sentiments. I do have a scrap of ribbon that'll go in my little box. 
I only have three of these left. See, these are the only other die cuts, but these are all like the same labels. Of course I have my washi tape left. And then these are the papers that I have. Oh, I do have these two that I did not use. And then a little bit of tissue paper. And then these are the papers. I have a lot of scraps. I can't remember exactly how many papers I pulled, but I only have one, two, three, four, five, six. I only have six full sheets of paper left. And I did add in, um, what did I add in? I added in my stamps, I think. I don't think that was in the original kit share video. And I added in a couple sheets of white cardstock. Then I have six pattern papers left. Other than that, it's just scraps. So let me just move all this stuff and I'll show you my pa my uh, pages. Now, all of these pages have process videos. So make sure you go. I will have links to every single video that's associated with this kit in the description box below. Now, part of the reason why I had so many Project Life pay, um, cards left is because I didn't do any true Project Life pages. Yeah, I don't think I did. Um, because I actually have a lot of photos that I need to scrapbook and 12 by 12 layouts, and I don't have as many Project Life pages, printed photos for pages, Project Life pages left. I actually have a lot of Project Life kits, so I've been trying to reserve those photos for those kits because they are specifically geared toward Project Life. So these are all 12 by 12 layouts primarily. So this was the most recent one I did and I love it, but it was after this one that I started to pull photos for my 13th layout and it just didn't work. Like I just wasn't finding anything to work with the supplies I had left. So that was a um, note to myself, stop there, just be done with it. So this one is titled um, A Style All His Own and it's some pictures of Kaylin getting his hair cut and I just did a little bit of a grid layout here and I did my printed journaling and just embellished you some of that ribbon here. I love the bright green background with the contrast of the blue and the red and the white. I think it's just a really um, pretty contrast. I've got this one which is called Love and Happiness. And this is where like I'm using some of those, some of these. Like this one is just this ampersand here. Obviously it's not much, but it's just a way to continue to use that, that um, alphabet. This one is next, which is called Basketball All Day Every Day. Picture of Kaylin in his basketball uniform. And then it was at the YMCA, which is why I have that up there, because I wanted just to remember those details. All right, this one is a Project Life um, filler page. And I've got to adhere my little flare badge down. It goes over here. But I don't have it adhered down yet, because I don't know if this is the true background. So it's going to go like that. Something like that. So I don't know if this is the true page protector. Whenever I put it in my album, I'll make sure that the other side didn't already have like um, a flip or something that was stitched onto it. This one is called Hello 2015. Using that tissue paper. And I love this background paper with the ledger print. Um, his favorite. Again, another uh, basketball series of photos from Kaylin. This was him in the act of shooting. So jumping and shooting landing and watching the ball and then the ball going in and he's so little in this picture and that basketball goal is full height so he loves basketball I want to say he's four years old here and he is just playing his little heart out this is another filler page and this was um, January 1 2015 to December 31st 2015 just a filler page for my project life album this one is called Too Cool. This is a picture of Ernest and Kaylin with their cool attitudes. <laughs> um, and I love the stark white background against the brighter teals and um, black and white and yellow. And then again, the gray border. I absolutely love the stark contrast of the white versus the color. This is one, and this is one of those pages that I really didn't think I was going to use as background paper, but it worked with this layout. This one is hashtag golf cart cruising with grandma. And this is an example of where like I use that Project Life card, but it's one Project Life card on this whole page. 
This one is called Happy Day. And this is that paper that was kind of my jumping off point for my stash kit. This is the one that I pulled all of my colors from. So I was really happy to be able to use that paper because I love this paper. I just don't have a full sheet of it. Uh, two more here. I've got this one, which is called The Girls. This is a photo of me, my sisters, and my mother at my younger sister's baby shower. And again, Project Life cards here, but again, that's only two. <laughs> And then the last layout here is uh, Daddy and Sunday, and this is Kaylin where, um, a picture of Kaylin when he was out with Ernest one day. He, I think he was out of school for a teacher work day, and they had went down to the IMAX theater downtown to watch the 3D movie about humpback whales. So I love, again, the black and white, and then the color, and just the contrast. And I thought it was really kind of a nice play off of the movie reel, and this is a, um, cow in the background. I've talked about that. If you go to that process video, you'll see the description of why there's a cow in the background with 3D glasses. So that is everything that I made with this kit. Um, the next, as I mentioned before, the next stash kit videos that you'll see will actually be using 2017 stash kit number one. Um, and then we'll see what I can create with that. So thank you so much for joining me. If you missed any of these process videos, just make sure you check out the description box below because there are links to every single one of these process videos there as well as the um, original unboxing. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.